very good morning dear students today we are going to begin our next one poem that is wind wind basically it was written in tamil by ak ramanujan but later it was translated in english by subramanya bharti okay so here uh, we can say ak ramanujan or subramanya bharti are talking about talking about the both the aspects actually the both the aspects of the wind and and which are these two aspects the destructive and productive okay so here the poet the poet is talking about the both aspects of the wind and here we can say in the beginning there is apostrophe the figure of speech as we have seen yes apostrophe when someone is addressed yes or anything or any abstract idea is addressed as a human being ek human being ke taur pe jaise wahan maujood ho unhe jab hum address karte hain so it is called apostrophe so here in this poem apostrophe the figure of speech is prominently used okay apostrophe apostrophe okay so dear guys to to get more information about it go through the videos that we have done in our previous classes where we have dealt with the figures of speech okay so leave it this now we are going to see that here the poet the poet speaks to the wind speaks to the wind with humor with humor okay in a funny uh, or to make fun there he is talking to the or he speaks to the wind and he talks about the especially the destructive aspect of the wind destructive destructive vinashkari aspect yes jisme vinash karta hai wind us aspect ki baat yahan poet ne ki hai now let's see let's see what is given there in the introductory part the wind blows strongly and causes a lot of destruction how can we make friends with it okay actually here the poet is talking about the destructive aspect of the wind destructive aspect yes destructive aspect of the wind and then then the poet at the end of this poem you will find that the poet poet advises poet advises us to the human being to be friend to be friend the wind to be friend the wind by making themselves strong yes making themselves strong we should make ourselves strong not only our body but our mind too to be friend with the wind yes so it is given already when we deal with the paraphrase of this poem we will go through it but here you must understand that in this poem the poet is talking about the destructive aspect of the wind okay so at the beginning you will find that the poet is addressing the wind and requesting and making a request making a request to the wind to blow softly yes to blow softly don't blow violently yes so there he made a request made a request to the wind and you look at there wind come softly don't break the shutters of the windows don't scatter the papers don't throw down the books on the shelf look at there in the first part in the first part there he says or he made a request to the wind or he asked the wind to blow softly yes to come softly and again besides he made a request to the wind not to break the shutters of the window not to break the shutters of the window not to scatter the papers and even he requested him not to throw down the books from the shelf that means here he made a request to blow softly so that so that these these destructions would not happen but 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 the wind did not listen to the poet 
but the wind did not listen did not listen to the poet bilkul bhi poet ki wo nahi sunte hain kon the wind and wind blows violently and had done destruction had done destruction and that's why look at that the poet now addressing the wind and saying that look look there what you did wind look look there what you did dekho tumne kya kiya look there means here the poet is uh miss a uh, uh, poet is showing showing the wind the destruction it had done the destruction it had done look at the what the wind had done here look at there he said uh, the poet says you threw them all down you threw them all down you may threw them all 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 them all that means the books you threw down you threw down all the books all the books from the shelf उस सेल्फ में से अलमेरा में से रैक में से सारी की सारी किताबें तुमने नीचे फेंक दी लुक लुक व्हाट यू डीड देखो तुमने क्या किया यस देन इज यू टोर द पेजेस ऑफ द बुक्स यू नॉट ओनली थ्रू देम डाउन बट आल्सो यू टोर यू टोर द पेजेस ऑफ द बुक्स सो लुक that's why their poet says i was asking you to blow softly so that such destructions would not happen but you did not listen but you did not listen to me you blew so violently that you threw down the books from the shelf even tore the pages of the books and again you bought rain rain again with you you bought rain with you again yes aur tumne sath hi sath apne रेन भी लेके आए सो मच डिस्ट्रक्टिव इट इज यू हैव डन यस यू हैव डन मीन्स द थिंग दैट डन बाय द विंड वॉज सो मच डिस्ट्रक्टिव एंड दैट्स वाई देर इज एज लुक 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 डाउन वॉट यू डीड विंड लुक डाउन वॉट यू डीड देर आफ्टर हियर द पोएट द पोएट इज सेंग और पोएट कॉल द विंड क्लेवर Miss actually the whole poem is in apostrophe. Yes, miss apostrophe. The figure of speech is prominently used here. Yes, and there he says the poet. The poet says, "You are very clever, wind. You are very clever at poking, poking fun at weaklings. Poking fun. Poking means making fun, making fun. Yes, making fun of weaklings. Weaklings means the weak things." कमजोर जो चीजें होती है उन्हें हम विकलिंग्स कहते हैं वट एवर द थिंग इट इज और दो इट इज ह्यूमन बींग बट विकलिंग्स विकलिंग्स मीन्स द वीक थिंग्स ओके कमजोर जो चीजें होती हैं दैट आर कॉल्ड विकलिंग्स सो देर इज एज यू आर वेरी क्लेवर रियली 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 विंड यू आर वेरी क्लेवर एंड इन वॉट एट मेकिंग फन ऑफ द विकलिंग्स यू आर वेरी क्लेवर एट द मेकिंग फन ऑफ विकलिंग्स फ्रेल क्रमलिंग हाउसेज क्रमलिंग डोर्स क्रमलिंग राफ्टर्स क्रमलिंग वूड क्रमलिंग बॉडीज क्रमलिंग लाइव क्रमलिंग हार्ट मीन्स हियर द पोएट इज सींग दैट लुक हाउ डू यू मेक द फन ऑफ द विकलिंग्स यस क्रमलिंग क्रमलिंग मीन्स ब्रेकिंग फ्रेल फ्रेल मीन्स वीक फ्रेल मीन्स वीक कमजोर टेंडर जो होते हैं उनको हम फ्रेल कहते हैं एंड क्रमलिंग क्रमलिंग मीन्स ब्रेकिंग लुक हाउ डू यू हाउ डू यू मेक फन ऑफ द विकलिंग्स हाउ डू यू मेक ऑफ द फ्रेल्स कमजोर लोगों का कमजोर चीजों का तुम कैसे मजाक बनाते हो यू क्रम्बल यू क्रम्बल हाउसेस यू क्रम्बल डोर्स यू क्रम्बल राफ्टर्स यू क्रम्बल वुड बॉडीज लाइव एंड हार्ट यू क्रम्बल एवरीथिंग Yes, you crumble everything that are weak, that are frail. Yes, जो कमजोर है उन्हें तुम क्या बनाते हो Crush कर देते हो break कर देते हो And this way you make fun, you make fun of weaklings, you you make fun of weaks, uh, frails. Yes, you break them, you destroy them, you. वो डी कैसे डिमोलिज 
so there there he called him clever and that's why here the poet called the wind clever yes and saying that you are really very clever at making fun of others yes and that's why there he says how he make fun of how he makes fun of the weaklings he breaks them he breaks them he breaks the houses doors rafters wood bodies lives and hearts yes to everyone what a weak jo bhi kamzor hai sab ka wo mazak banate hain kon the wind then he says then after that here he called he called the wind as god wind god look at there the wind god wind god look at the another word there he used as wind god okay and then he used that word we know yes we know we know him okay we know we know it is a process ek process hai we know it is a process where uh, uh grain is separated from husk okay grain is separated from husk by blowing on it grain ko husk se ghas se alag kiya jata hai okay and this process is called winnowing winnowing process okay winnowing jo kisan log karte actually dhan ko paddy se matlab jo uh, husk hoti hai usse alag karne ke liye एयर का मतलब विंड का यूज करते हैं एंड दैट प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड विनोइंग ओके सो हियर द पोएट द पोएट से इज दैट और पोएट कॉल्ड हियर द विंड गॉड एंड से इज यू विनोज सॉरी यू विनो एंड क्रसेज द मॉल यू विनो एंड क्रसेज द मॉल सो दे मॉल अगेन विकलिंग्स ओके डोर्स हाउसेज राफ्टर्स wood bodies lives and hearts all these are 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 called here weaklings okay them all so there he says wind god you winnows you separates you separates the brave from the weaker yes weakers so then he says you separate the weak from um, brave and then you crushes them all you crushes them all you crushes the people who are weak the you crushes the things which are weak tum un sari cheezon ko crush karte ho jo kamzor hoti hai yes so dear guys this is about the wind but again again we, we can take this poem as a symbolic as a symbolic one and here wind wind actually signifies or it symbolizes the challenges चैलेंजेस वी फेस ओके जो चैलेंजेस जो हार्डशिप्स हमारे लाइफ में आती है वी कैन हियर सिम्बलाइज दिस यस सो विंड कैन सिम्बलाइज हियर और कैन बी सिम्बलाइज हियर विद चैलेंजेस हार्डशिप्स यस एंड एज वी नो दैट द चैलेंजेस हार्डशिप्स सेपरेट्स सेपरेट्स द ब्रेव फ्रॉम विक सेपरेट्स द ब्रेव फ्रॉम द विक same here the wind is also separates the weak from the braves or that means strong strong ones okay so same here the wind the wind god we knows or separates separates the weak and crush them all and crush them all he want to do what you tell him and there he says there he says he he means the wind wind own to do what you tell him means here you 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 this word is now here referred to we all we people and there he says the wind never follow us the wind never follow us wind kabhi bhi hame follow nahi karta hai never obey us hame bhi hame kabhi bhi wo obey nahi karta hai yes so we should understand we should understand here what we have to do as the wind is not listening us wind to hame sunta nahi hai so so what we have to do actually as the wind is not ready to listen to us then we should be friend with the wind the choice 
or what is the advice is given here by the poet and this is the only one choice we have there is no other choice before us yes so let's see what there is says or let's repeat let's repeat up to here this is actually second part uh, of the poem or we can divide this poem in three parts the first one the request the poet made then the second one the destruction the wind done then the third part is the advice or how to make friend with the friend with the wind is given in the third part okay but let's see now here we are going to repeat what is given there in the first part or if we symbolize if we symbolize wind with or if we symbolize wind to the challenges and hardships in everyone's life so we can say that or we can understand that how as as wind makes someone strong same here the challenges also make someone strong strong yes as wind blows out or as wind uh, separates the wicks or crushes the wicks same challenges challenges in everyone's life breaks breaks the wicks yes so here we can symbolize the wind with or wind to the challenges okay then there he says wind come softly as i told you there he made a request to the wind to blow softly to blow softly so that such a destruction would not be done there he says or he made again request to him to the wind don't break don't break the shutters shutters of the windows shutters that means doors doors of the windows ओके मीन्स वो जो विंडो के जो पल्ले होते हैं उसे हम सटर्स कह सकते हैं ओके सटर्स ऑफ द विंडोज देन देर इज डोंट स्कैटर स्कैटर बिखेरना ओके डोंट स्कैटर द पेपर्स पेपर्स ओके द पेपर्स विच आर देयर ऑन द टेबल और इन द रूम यस डोंट स्कैटर देम स्कैटर ना करो उन्हें बिखेरो ना बिखेरो सो दिस वे हियर द पोइट इज मेकिंग रिक्वेस्ट to the wind to blow slop softly don't break the shutters don't scatter the papers and again he made a request to the wind saying him not to throw down not to throw down the books the books which are there kept on the shelf which are there kept on the shelf there he said don't break them down sorry don't throw them down unhe niche na feko yes so this is a request this is a request made by the poet to the wind yes and we can uh, call it the first one part of this poem but but here the wind does not listen to the poet does not listen to the poet does not obey the poet does not follow the poet so what what did the po did the wind do what did the wind do phir wind ne kya kiya look at there the poet says look look there you wind look what you did dekho dekho tumne kya kiya look there look there you threw down you threw them all down them all that means books which were there kept on the shelf you threw them down tumne un sab ko niche fek diya you threw them down you threw all the books down from the shelf shelf se unko niche fek diya you even tore the pages wind you even tore the pages tore the pages of the books even tumne kitabon ke pages bhi tore kar diye you even brought rain again you brought rain again तुमने फिर से बारिश ले आए सो देर हिज टॉक अबाउट द डिस्ट्रक्टिव आस्पेक्ट ऑफ द विंड दैट इट हैड डन दैट इट हैड डन यस इट हैड थ्री डाउन द बुक्स इट हैड टोर द पेजेस इट हैड ब्रोकन द सटर्स ऑफ द विंडो एंड दैट्स वाई हियर द पोइट सेड हिम टू लुक डाउन वॉट यू डीड वॉट यू डीड जस्ट लुक 
देन देर ही सेड और ही कॉल्ड हिम क्लेवर एट और इन मेकिंग फन ऑफ द विकलिंग्स यस देर ही कॉल्ड हिम यू आर वेरी क्लेवर रियली विंड यू आर वेरी क्लेवर इन मेकिंग फन ऑफ द विकलिंग्स एज यू crushes them all as you crushes the doors rafters and bodies and everything which are weak you make fun of them by this you make fun of them tum is tarah se unka mazak banate ho by crushing them down by destroying them by breaking them into pieces by breaking them into pieces you make fun of the weaklings the frail the weak ये जो कमजोर है विकलिंग है फ्रेल है उन लोग का तुम मजाक बनाते हो बाय क्रसिंग देम बाय ब्रेकिंग देम इन टू पीसेस बाय डिस्ट्रॉइंग देम यस सो दिस इज व्हाट देर ही सेड द सेकंड पार्ट ओके एंड देन अगेन इन द सेकंड पार्ट अगेन ही सेज द विंड गॉड विंड गॉड यू विनोज यू विनोज दैट मीन सेपरेट्स यू सेपरेट्स द ब्रेव फ्रॉम द विक्स You separates the brave from the weaks. How? By crushing them all. By crushing them all, or you separates them, and then there he says he won't do what you tell him. So this way he won't follow you, won't obey you, what you say him to do. Yes, he never listen. He never listen to us. Yes, up to here. uh it is okay then the remaining part we will do in our next video lecture bye bye see you soon